so I'm going home. Um, we, I saw a very interesting patient today, which I think is like also something that was interesting to me because it just seemed like such a diagnosis that only adults would have. And so seeing it in an adolescent made me second think like, I don't think that she has the psychiatric disorder because it's not very common in kids. I'm also on a different car today. Essentially, this patient, she was showing signs of psychosis and the way that she was presenting herself, it reminded me a lot of the patients that I've seen in adult psychiatry if they had schizophrenia. And that was like one of the things on my differential list was schizophreniform because she didn't particularly have it for six months. So you can't really diagnose um, schizophrenia if someone has it for less than six months. That was on my differential, but she's also young, like very young. And this is not a disorder that you see in kids that young. So I was very like wary to say that I think she had that, but essentially we got collateral from her mom and we like figured out that it's more leaning towards bipolar or just depression with psychotic features because she had a period of time that she was depressed and just like no one really knew besides her mom, which I think is also really important to like get a full history from family members and just people around you. No one really knew what she had or like why she was presenting the way that she was. Hi guys, so I'm going home now. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit today because I really like it. I'm wearing like my new booties along with these flare pants. I came to school because I needed to print some stuff, but um, let me see if I can show you my outfit now. So I'm wearing a black top that's like square neck. I'm wearing this new necklace that I got from DC. I have my white coat and then these are the pants. From up top these are the pants. They're bootleg and then I'm wearing my new booties from Aerosols. I haven't seen this building in so long. Gallant where we do all of our classes. I haven't been on campus in so long. So I wanted to go to the library to print some stuff and I knew that like school is closed because the kids are not in class anymore but i didn't expect the library to be closed so i couldn't get in the whole thing was like black there's literally no one there um so i'm hoping if i go to one of the halls like it'll at least be open so i can print my stuff well that was a useless trip because every single building is locked actually we're gonna try one more time we're gonna go to breslin hall because i feel like they're always open and this is where we did most of our classes when we were here for like uh winter sessions so please just one building i just need one building to be open oh my god i literally hate i hate this but you know what just hit me there is a printer at the student center and that has to be open because kids are still living on campus so we are gonna go there um i literally drove all over campus just to try to get into a classroom nothing's open so we have to resort to the student center i it better be open i know it is and i'm manifesting this because the length that I'm going to go print out my study guide and also the Columbia um, suicide scale, it's, it's something that the doctor I was working with today mentioned to me. She said that um, it's something that most practitioners should be well versed in whether or not you are in psychiatry or not. So I just thought that I would have it printed out so I could see it more concretely and like in the actual um, flesh I guess. Good morning guys. Today is my second to last day at this hospital and honestly I'm gonna like miss it to some extent I think because 
sometimes I get really attached to the patients, which is not that great, but I think that's what like shows that I put my heart into this. Hi guys, I thought I would just come on and talk to you guys because um, I haven't in a while and although I have my clips in the car and things like that when I'm walking to the hospital, I think it's more informative if I discuss what happens during the day for me. So this week and last week I have been in adolescent psychiatry and I thoroughly can say that I enjoy inpatient so much more than outpatient and I think it's because I get to see the patient every day. So there's continuity there, there's also that room for a student to build trust with the patient because in outpatient I only see them once a week and I was there for a really short amount of time to begin with so there just wasn't enough time for me to build a report with the patient and have them trust me enough to kind of describe and tell me all the things that they're thinking about or things that they're having trouble with. So as you can imagine, it is a lot harder as a student. So I thoroughly just enjoy inpatient because I get that continuity with the patients and I get to interview them more. I get to see more acute things versus in partial program, they're already pretty stable and they're just trying to transition back to regular everyday life where they go to school outside and they get to like live at home. Tomorrow is my official last day in psychiatry. I've started packing for Staten Island. Um, there's just a couple stuff that I have left. The only thing is there's been a little bit of a hiccup because someone living in the house that I was going to rent got COVID and I don't know if I'm allowed to move in while they're still quarantining. I might have to drive the first week of my pediatric rotation but i'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that like just things work out better you know there's always something that has to throw a wrench into the schedule but um that's just life and as a pa student or a pa you have to learn how to adapt a lot so i'm trying to remain positive i know it's gonna work out in the end but it's just annoying because i prepared and then, you know, something like out of my control like that happens, which you kind of just have to sit with it and think like, it's okay, it's not the end of the world. And I still have my car. I still can drive every day, even though it's um, one heck of a commute. Good morning, guys. Today is my last day in psychiatry. And honestly, um, I think I'm gonna miss just coming to a place where I was like welcomed and all the physicians really just wanted to teach me. Um, not to say that like at the other places that I've gone, they weren't like that, but here I think it was a little different, mainly because these doctors are, their specialty is mental health. And so they are very aware of how like students I guess like the anxiety we go through while we're in school because they used to be in our positions so I think they're a little more empathetic when it comes to how they treat us um, and that's like the one thing I think that's really different from all the other sites because um, some physicians and practitioners will forget what it's like to be a student and I think you know like you should always be humble and remember how hard it was to be a student at one point the rotation went by so fast which i always say this for each one but i literally can't believe i'm going into my fourth one next week like that's crazy to me hi guys so i just got home um today was the day that i went to take my eor for psychiatry passed um and next monday i'm gonna be starting pediatrics so um, today after the exam, I just went to a couple of stores because retail therapy is at its best. Um, recently, I feel like my mood has just been very down and I don't really know why. Also been feeling like a little more tired than usual, so going through some things. But um, 
I went to Five Below and I bought this little bonsai tree kit. Um, they had like three different pot colors. One was blue, one was green, one was purple. And I got the blue one. And I think it comes with like a, a growing pellet, which is like the seeds almost. And then um, hopefully it turns into a big bonsai tree because I've always thought that they were like very pretty. And then I also went to Bed Bath & Beyond um, and they had this cup for sale. And so I just got it because I've always wanted a cup like this. It's almost like the short looking ones that look like the cans with the like rim top and whatnot but this was on sale for two dollars so i thought why not and i just got a new cup good morning guys i'm currently on my fourth rotation this is the one that's just super far away and so i ended up finding a place to rent because the commute is just too much um so let me just hand sanitize before I eat my breakfast. Long story short, I was supposed to move in over the weekend, but then the landlady called me and said that she tested positive for COVID last week and she hadn't like finished her quarantine yet. So it wasn't safe for me to move in. Um, and I was supposed to start on Monday. So she called me last Monday. So I waited a whole week that she would be able to provide me with some updates. Um, and then I was under the impression that I was supposed to like move in after my first week. So I would have to commute back and forth. But she ended up going to the doctor and the doctor said that she's fine now, even though she's still testing positive. So I moved in yesterday after my first day of work and that was a lot especially since this is my first time living away from home and also just i'm in an area where i'm not familiar i've never been here before and i also don't have any like classmates or friends in this area so it's a little scary and i'm just sitting here eating a croissant good morning guys i feel like this is just the daily update in my car now. I'm extremely tired because I woke up at five and my alarm was at seven. Um, not really sure why I woke up, but my eyes are just really tired and dry. And I wish I could vlog in the house. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can, but I just don't want to disturb the other tenants. And I don't know, it's just awkward to like know that people are listening to me yesterday was a good day i stayed until 6 30 which is a little later than usual but there was a newborn 11 days old and her mom was concerned that she might have rsv just because of the way that she was breathing and the pa that saw her like i stayed and saw the baby with him the baby's fine. It was just like normal grunting that a newborn has because they don't have the ability to like get out all of the amniotic fluid and everything that's been in their system when they were in the womb. So the PA explained it as just a compensatory mechanism for the baby to kind of get all that stuff up. It And then the baby also got its first hepatitis B shot because it didn't get in the hospital. Um, I'm hoping to get pho for dinner tonight because I just I really want some like noodles and soup. Good morning guys. So as you can see this morning I have like a little clip of me getting ready in my room. Um, I have to be at the office at 9 so what I do is I wake up at 7-ish give myself some time to get ready to make breakfast and then um, I usually leave the house around 8 10 in the morning it takes about like 25 minutes to get here also i have to figure out what i want to eat for dinner today i'm trying to decide if i want to go to the grocery store and buy ingredients or just order out again like ideally i want to cook at home um just because i like homemade food i'm not really like a takeout person I was like psyching myself out because I've been seeing all these sick patients. A lot of kids have strep, 
viral um things like yesterday i felt like there was a lump in my throat like every time i went to swallow water or something there was just this lump in the back of my throat and i was like what is that um and i was really hoping that it would go away and this morning like my throat was dry but i think it was because of the heat more so than anything else i'm glad i went away because i don't want to be sick like come on this is my third day here actually it's my fourth day it's my fourth day here so yeah um i'm gonna go inside now because it's kind of awkward just sitting in my car but i will update you guys later hi guys so i'm currently in my room um, I am studying because I had a schedule, I told myself I was supposed to get through dermatology and ENT things by the first week and I'm literally not even close. So I have a lot of reading to do, but, um, today is my day off. So my schedule is Monday to Thursday and so I have like a three day weekend every week, which is great because I spend a lot of time at the office and there's not a lot of downtime so this is my time to study um i'm also washing clothes right now so currently i have a timer on there's like 20 minutes left for the dryer i think once um my clothes is done i'm going to go outside and take a walk just because i haven't seen the sun in a little bit like i yeah, I'm trying to soak in as much vitamin D as possible because when I go to the office, I essentially go when the sun is like almost still just coming up and then when I leave, it's already dark outside so I don't see the sun at all. And I kind of just want to go to the supermarket, buy some protein. Um, also, I might want to get some cough drops because like days prior, I felt like my throat was a little weird um but let me give you a small tour of my room even though it's not that great and a lot of the stuff is just like all over the place i think um just to show you guys like where i'm living right now okay so i'm currently sitting with this like table and i'm on a chair um i was just reading about acne vulgaris is the medical term for acne basically so that's why i have my computer here and then my bed is essentially right here and it is a full-size mattress on the floor um i put like my bed sheets on it one pillow couple blankets and this is sufficient enough for me um then i have my closet which has my coat um and then i have like my beauty stuff there um some oranges and avocados in that little box my bedside table with my lip balm glasses some tea and a tissue box and then that's all my clothes i keep it in my duffel just because i know that it's clean um i have a water kettle this box has like all my food stuff so you can see oatmeal peanut butter some um thermos things and then this small box right here has like all the other kitchen stuff that i need um, I have my shower caddy, my shower shoes, my sneakers for work, and then that right there is my garbage can. So I literally just like put things in there and then when it's, it's full, I bring it downstairs. I have my towel, my laundry bag, my loofah, that's my keys, and a mask that I wear around the house. Um, and then behind me, I just have these couple of bags. This is my backpack. That has, um, I think like my laundry detergent and stuff and then I'm not really sure what's in that bag, but my book bag, my lunch bag are here. And that is basically my whole room. So this is where I reside most of the time. I try to stay in my room as much as possible because I do have other roommates and I don't really want to get in their way of things. So this is my room tour. I'm about to make myself some lunch. So yesterday I had some leftover chicken. Um, I forget what it's called. It's like one of the marinated chickens from Trader Joe's. I also got some spring mix and then the green goddess dressing. So I'm going to have a little bit of a salad. And then I'm also making ramen. It is currently 5, 5.43. 
and um, I've been studying all day. Now I'm watching YouTube because I'm taking a break from studying. Um, I was originally going to go downstairs and make dinner, but I'm not hungry yet just because I did have such a big bowl of ramen before. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys like what I've been studying. I've been using the PAEA topic outline with all the topics on the exam. And I've been reading the um, like topics in the Pants Prep Pearls book. And then there's also a podcast that comes with the AAP Rotation Crash Course. It's from the same like website and company that does hippo education. And they have a podcast or like episodes for each core rotation. And so I was listening to the pediatrics one and I took notes on all the stuff that I listened to. And I think that really helped like solidify everything and put it down onto paper. And one of the things that was like most helpful was the childhood milestones one because it's just a lot of information to remember, especially since there's like milestones that need to be reached at two, three, four, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-four months, and so on. And then like there's also things you need to know that the kids need to meet for their gross motor, their fine motor, language, and social interaction. So like writing it down this way just really helped me, um, especially since I am a visual learner. Um, and that's basically what I've been doing up until now. So I'm going to watch a little bit more YouTube and then eventually go downstairs and make dinner.